She had a, a nickname when she was younger, and it was Get Down Laura. <laughs> <laughs> From her mum, she was always climbing. Whether it be uh, garden walls, uh, fences, trees, lampposts. <laughs> I remember her mum shouting all the time, Get Down Laura, Laura, Get Down! <laughs> I heard that as often as Patrick does on now. Anyhow, sometimes it never changes. She likes a challenge, as I said before. She gives you 100% in absolutely everything that she does. Uh, recently, she was studying for a master's degree in uh, business management. So that's what her nickname is just now. Mrs. Laura, all or nothing, proud. <laughs> Laura's biggest success in life so far. I'd like to introduce Charlotte, her daughter. Charlotte. This is some wisdom from Dr. Zeus. We are all a little weird, and life's a little weird. And when we find someone whose weirdness is compatible with ours, we join up with them and fall in mutual weirdness and call it love. <laughs> it's stag party. With quite a few folks here. Um, the problem for me was it was an Indian restaurant. And I had never been an Indian restaurant in my life. And I was scared stuff. I called them tatties and mints, or, or, or uh, macaroni, which I quite like. And I had to try the corner. I thought, hmm, the corner. By the way, I've heard the corner. There was a song about it, I think it's Corner Chameleon or something. <laughs> so, and just like the song, it comes and goes. <laughs> well, I'm glad you took two three days, but uh, never go to bed mad with one another. Stay up and fight. <laughs> <laughs> to Mr. Mrs. Brown, and I wish them all the best and all the happiness for the future. <laughs> Thanks to Drew for starting things off. I want to take a moment as well for everybody to remember people who can't be here. Yes. Yeah. And we know that they're always here in our hearts. If you don't let them go, they'll never disappear. Yeah? yeah. Fantastic. So anyway, I was saying, um, I'm supposed to talk about somebody else, but it slips my mind who it should be at this Ah! Ah! Yeah. 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 Now, been together for three years, you heard some of my speech earlier on, the celebrant stole some of it. So you might already have heard that. We met at a concert, and again I was taking photographs, and that was the reason why I was there. Um, and so I have to be taking the pictures, and all of a sudden this girl is throwing people out of the road in front of me. Bodily driver, he's taking photographs, what are you doing? You're in the room there. I'm doing the and said, I'm actually trying to take pictures of the crowd, watching. <laughs> so you also heard that we went to Paris and uh, we got engaged to ask the question um, in Marie Antoinette's back garden uh, in Versailles. And the answer that I got was not quite what I expected. <laughs> I can see that. The answer was, it's about time. <laughs> <laughs> what can I say about the next bunch of reprobates that I'm going to have to talk about? <laughs> You've seen them kicking about, right, wriggling people around and wrestling them out for photographs and things. The ushers. Andrew, Graham, Harry, and Bales. Colin. <laughs> so, um, I've got some audience participation going to be happening, so be prepared for some of that. Thank you.